This is a video on how to clean a receiver in the Canal hearing aid. Uh, this specifically is a uh, Signia Charge and Go uh, hearing aid. The most common thing I see, and 95% of the time, if it seems like the hearing aid isn't working, it's because this part, the dome, is plugged up. And uh, you should be able to see that that is plugged up with wax. Now these Signia hearing aids have a grid on the end of the dome that's made to catch the wax. And all you've got to do is take a Kleenex and grab and squeeze like that. Just I'm squeezing and then I pull and that will pull the wax out of there. And now that is cleaned down. Now, still got a little bit of wax in there, but I'm just gonna do that a little bit more. And then it's pretty clean. Every morning, you should be taking your brush and just brush across. Okay, and clean that out. And hopefully you can see the difference of what it looks like when it's clean and when it's full versus when it's full of wax. Okay, now some times we have to clean this, we have to take this off. Okay, don't just pull in the rubber part, but fold it back, get your fingernail in between the white plastic and the metal, and that just sort of levers off like that. Sometimes there is wax in the back of there. On your cleaning tool, you have a little metal end like that, and that goes in there. Okay, trying to show it to you as best I can, but just get in there and use that metal deal to clean out the wax that's back there. Okay, that's what it should look like. Now, finally, there is a white filter in the speaker of the receiver itself. Now, this one's clean and doesn't actually need to be changed. And with these domes, it's a nice thing about these domes, because of that grid, whoops. <laughs> That's the nice thing about these domes. Because of that grid, the wax gets caught there, and it's a lot less likely to end up down in here on these uh, Signia type of hearing aids. The newer domes are different, but these ones they used for years and years and years, and have only just recently changed. But um, with that grid, that catches the wax, and it doesn't usually get down there, but sometimes it does. And when you do need to clean the filter, you're going to have these little filter packs. Usually you're going to come with the hearing aids or you can get it from whoever sold you the hearing aid. You pull out one of these little sticks. There's the new filter. On these older ones, like I said, the brand new AX is different, but these X and everything all back, all the way back for about 10 years is the same way. This end screws into... the old filter, which is a little bit tricky, but once you screw it in, you can pull it out, flip around the stick, and put the new one in there, and when you push it in and pull out, it stays in place. And there's that. And then that's just gonna go back on the end, okay? Now one more thing. This person does not have what's called a retention wire on their hearing aid, but I will show you. Okay, these little plastic wires. If when you're cleaning it, it comes off and you got to put it back on. Okay. This is the how a hearing aid sits on your ear. And that retention wire, this part of the wire needs to be coming out the bottom. Okay, it's going down. See that, how it's going down. In relation to the hearing aid, not like that. That's wrong, not going out, but going down like that. And then you would just put, push the dome on and you'll hear it click on, okay?